The venipuncture site is aseptically prepared prior to blood collection. A small volume of citrate anticoagulant, ACDA, must be added to the syringe and butterfly catheter prior to the blood draw. 8 ml of ACDA is recommended. Express ACDA until a few drops exit the needle. Draw the blood slowly at a rate of 1 ml per second until 60 ml, including previously added ACDA, is collected in the syringe. Clotting of blood can be prevented by frequently inverting the syringe during blood draw to ensure adequate mixing of whole blood and ACDA. An 18 or 19 gauge apheresis needle set is recommended to minimize the risk of damage to the platelets and cells and will make it easier to invert the syringe during the blood draw. Take note of the total volume in the syringe in consideration of the appropriate counterbalance weight during the centrifugation. The first device of the ProStride system is removed from the sterile pack. The port caps are color-coded and numbered. Unscrew the cap on the center port marked with a number 1. The green post can be discarded. Slowly add the blood at a rate of 1 ml per second. Be sure to hold the red port upward at an angle to avoid blood running over the blue top vent. After loading blood into the device, remove the blue insert by unscrewing from the center tethered cap, then secure the tethered cap to the center port. At the time of the first centrifuge spin, ensure the centrifuge is on a secure and flat surface, plugged in, and the power on. Press the open button. While gently pushing down, twist the latch on the lid counterclockwise to open. It is always good to check to make sure nothing is in the centrifuge beyond the buckets. Nothing should be kept or stored in the centrifuge when transporting. Make sure to load the device with the ports placed horizontal, facing left and right, and not vertical. The green centrifuge buckets must be used with ProStride. It is critical that the centrifuge is balanced. This can be achieved by using the blue 60 ml counterbalance positioned in the green centrifuge bucket opposite the device. Water may be added to this counterbalance to adjust for any variance in the weight of the blood volume placed in the first device. Alternatively, if a second kit is being processed, both devices will allow for proper balance. Try to consistently use the same amount of ACDA and draw the same amount of blood. The total volume in both tubes should be the same to ensure the machine is balanced. Close the centrifuge lid and secure by turning the latch clockwise. Set the RPM to 3200 and time to 15 minutes and push the start button. At completion of the 15 minute spin, press the open button, open the top latch and remove the device. You will notice a separation of the red blood cells at the bottom, the 6 mLs of buffy coat platelet rich cell suspension in the middle and a yellowish platelet pore plasma on the top. Remove the platelet pore plasma first. This is recommended to ensure that the platelet-rich cell suspension is not diluted at the time it is being drawn out of the device. Remove the yellow cap from the device, labeled number 2, and connect a 30 ml syringe to remove the platelet-poor plasma. When removing the platelet-poor plasma, tilt at an angle, but avoid inverting, keeping the fluid below the top blue vent. When complete, replace the yellow cap on the device. The platelet-poor plasma that has been removed can be discarded. To extract the platelet-rich cell suspension, remove the red cap, labeled number 3, and connect a 10 ml syringe. Secure the connection on the device using a lure lock syringe. It is less likely to loosen when shaking and resuspending the solution. Withdraw about 2 ml of the platelet-rich cell suspension into the syringe and shake the remaining platelet-rich cell suspension in the device with the syringe attached for about 30 seconds to ensure appropriate suspension of the cells. Withdraw the remaining platelet-rich cell suspension. Take out the concentrator device, the second device with the beads, and ensure that the beads are evenly distributed across the bottom surface. You can gently shake or tap the device to achieve this. At the time of loading the platelet-rich cell suspension, this even distribution of beads helps to limit premature leakage to the lower part of the device. Remove the yellow cap, number one, attach the syringe, and slowly fill at a rate of one ml per second, saturating the beads. Remove the syringe. Remove the blue insert by unscrewing from the tethered cap, and then secure the tethered cap to port number one. Ensure that the platelet-rich cell suspension is evenly mixed with the beads by using the knob on top of the concentrator device. Mix until the beads are fully saturated. Load the concentrator device in the centrifuge, ensuring appropriate balance. 
The ProStride counterbalance is weighted to appropriately balance the concentrator device. You will need to remove the counterbalance used in the first spin. Again, make sure to load the device with the ports placed horizontal, facing left and right, and not vertical. Alternatively, if a second ProStride kit is being used, this will serve as the appropriate balance. And again, the green centrifuge buckets must be used with ProStride. As done before, close the lid and secure the latch on top of the centrifuge. Set the RPMs to 2000 and time to 2 minutes and push the start button. At completion of the 2 minute spin, press the open button, open the top latch of the centrifuge and remove the concentrator device. Prior to extraction from the concentrator device, gently shake before drawing into the final syringe. There will be a concentrated pellet of cells, so it is important to shake or agitate this concentration to allow for resuspension into the rest of the solution before drawing out for injection. Remove the red cap, number two, and connect a five or 10 ml syringe you will use to inject. Extract the solution into the syringe, then disconnect from the device.